Okay, let's take a look at these time pass paper questions then. So the first one, the journey takes two hours, 35 minutes. The journey finishes at 7 p.m. So we've got to take time off 7 p.m. So if we go, first of all, 7 p.m. Uh, and take the two hours off, we're going to have 7, 6, 5 p.m. And then we want 35 minutes before that, which is going to be 4 25 so um, that's the other 35 mins so it's 4 25 p.m. but they want the answer in the 24 hour clock time so they're looking for 16 25 question 2 a train left London at 7 46 a.m. and arrived in Nottingham at 10 16 a.m. So if we do a little timeline there um, for the length of the journey. So we've got 7.46. So if we jump to uh, 8 o'clock, then that's a jump of 14 minutes. And then from 8 o'clock to 10 o'clock, is two hours and then from 10 o'clock to 16 is another 16 minutes so in total it's two hours and 30 minutes so that's what we're looking for in our list and two hours 30 minutes isn't in the list but two and a half hours is now you have to be careful um, between these two the temptation is to think that two hours 30 is 2.3 but of course 30 minutes is half an hour and half is 0 0.5 so be careful not to fall into that trap um, the following is an extract from a train timetable so we've got train one Train 2, Train 3, Train 4, Train 5. Neris needs to take a train from Kettering to London to go to a meeting. Use the following information to work out the latest train that Neris could take. So it's the latest one we're looking for. Her meeting starts at 8.45. So she needs to be in London before 8.45. Well, all of these trains arrive in London before 8.45, so that's not a problem. It takes one hour to travel from the London station to the meeting. So when she arrives in, so she has to be at her meeting at 8.45, so she needs to be in London by 7.45. Okay, so needs to arrive in London before 7.45. So she can't be on that train. Um, she can't be on that train. So the earliest, sorry, the latest train she can catch is the one that gets into London at 7.36 and she's leaving Kettering at 06.31. She could get earlier ones, but they want to know what the latest train is. The train loop uses 11.15 litres of fuel every minute. It takes five hours to use all the fuel from a tank. How many litres of fuel does the tank full tank hold. So every minute, so 5 hours times 60 will give you the number of minutes. So that's 300 minutes. And every one of those minutes uses 11.15 litres. So the total will be 300 times 11.15 
which equals 3,345 litres of fuel. So that last bit there has nothing to do with time, but uh, I left it in anyway. Question 3. On Monday, Gary went to the gym and worked out on four machines. The fraction of time he spent on each machine is represented in the diagram below. So the total number of parts that that's been split into is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And he was on the bike for 1, 2, 3, 4 out of those 10. So as a fraction um, of the total time, it's 4 tenths. Or um, because we can divide both of those by 2, that's the same as 2 fifths. Now this question isn't asking you to give your answer in its simplest form. So 4 out of 10 is fine. If it had done, um, then you would need to have written as 2 fifths. Gary spent 24 minutes on the treadmill. How long did he spend in the gym on Monday? So those three equal parts amount to 24 minutes. So each part of them must be 8 minutes. And because the parts are equal across the whole time period, in order to work out um, how long he was in the gym altogether, it'll be 10 lots of 8. So he was in the gym for 80 minutes altogether. Jenny wants to record six episodes of her favourite programme onto a DVD. Each programme lasts exactly 45 minutes. Will she be able to record all the programmes onto a DVD that can hold four hours of programmes? So in order to do this, I want to turn that four hours into minutes. I want to know in minutes what's the total capacity of the DVD. So four lots of 60 is... 240 minutes. So this space for um, the for 240 minutes on the DVD, she wants to record six that last 45 minutes. So six lots of 45. is 270 minutes. So now we need to conclude that the answer is no she won't. She will be 30 minutes short. For B. Write 15 seconds as a fraction of one minute. Well, if we're going to write that as a fraction, it needs to be in the same units of time. So I'm not going to turn seconds into minutes, that's complicated, but I am going to turn minute into um, uh, seconds. So 15 seconds out of 60 seconds. That's not in its simplest form. I can divide both of those by five because top and bottom Oh, actually, I can divide them both by 15, but let's do it the longer way, in case you didn't spot that. So if I divide by 5, I get 3 out of 12. Because 15 divided by 5 is 3, 60 divided by 5 is 12. And then I can divide both of these by 3. So I get 1 out of 4. So 15 seconds as a fraction of a minute in its simplest form is a quarter. Question 5. The following tables are parts of train timetables between Reading and London and between London and Birmingham. Train 1, that's a different train because that, that's a train that's on a track between Reading and London, that's a train that's on a track between London and Birmingham. That's a different train to that one and that's a different train to that one, and so on. Andrew catches the 1038 train from Reading to London. So he's on that train. How long should the journey take? So we're going from 1038, jump it to the nearest full hour, which is 11, 
and that's going to be uh, 22 minutes then from 11 to 11.17 is going to be 17 minutes so in total that's going to be 39 minute journey part b the train arrives in london five minutes late he takes a taxi to a meeting which takes 35 minutes the meeting lasts three hours ten minutes he then catches a taxi back to the train station taking a further further min 40 minutes he catches the next train to birmingham at what time should he ar arrive at birmingham blame me right so it arrives in london five minutes late so arrives at um, 11 22 he takes a taxi to a meeting which takes 35 minutes so that's going to be 22 and 35 which is 11 um, 57 the meeting lasts three hours and ten minutes so three hours from there will be 11 57 12 57 13 57 14 57 and 10 minutes well three minutes will take him to 15 o'clock leaving him another seven minutes take him to 1507 so we're there he then catches a taxi which takes another 40 minutes so that's going to be 1507 1547 he catches the next train to Birmingham so he wants the first train to Birmingham after 1547 which is this one so he catches the 1554 at what time should he arrive in Birmingham 1717 okay so hopefully you can see how drawing out these timelines help you work with these time questions. You can't just add and subtract when things flip over an hour. Calculate the mean of these four time periods. This was taken off of paper two, which means you're allowed to use your calculator and the time button on your calculator makes this super easy to do. Okay, so it's going to be five hours 20 minutes plus 2 hours 44 minutes remember you have to press that a second time plus 6 hours 18 minutes plus 4 hours 34 minutes now we have to press equals then to add all of those together so in total we've got 18 hours and 56 minutes and because it's a mean we divide that by one two three four there are four of them so divide by four equals four hours 44 minutes you could do it a longer way of doing that would be to work out how many hour minutes there are there in total so do five lots of 60 and add that so working only in minutes then dividing that by four and converting it back but the time button if you remember how to use it makes questions like that so easy question seven the towns of Aberglen, Bargwyn, Caerlau and Derwen are on bus route three the times buses take to travel between each of the towns is shown on the diagram below 
So it takes 10 minutes to travel between Aberglen and Barguin, and then another 30 minutes to get from Barguin to Cairlau and so on. Buses start at Aberglen. All these buses travel to Derwen, stopping at Barguin and Cairlau on the way. Here is the bus timetable. Departing from Aberglen, the first bus leaves at 9 o'clock and then 13 minute, every 13 minutes after this time. At what time does the 9.13 bus from Aberglen arrive in Derwen? So the 9.13 bus from Aberglen is going to arrive in Derwen 60 minutes later, 10, 40, 60 minutes later. So the 9.13 bus from Aberglen arrives at Derwin one hour later, which is going to be, um, hang on, first bus, sorry, the 9.13 bus from Aberglen arrives at 10.13, one hour later. It's a 60 minute journey. From Grainsey, the number six bus runs to Windra and the number seven bus runs to Havgoch. Um, the timetable from these buses is given below. So the first bus leaves Windra at 10 and then every 20 minutes and um, from Havgoch at 10 and then every 45 minutes. Um, when will the next, sorry, uh, after 10 o'clock, when will the number six bus and the number seven bus leave Grainsey at the same time. So this is one. Um, on the video uh, I did one just like this. So the number six bus, first one goes at 10, the next one will go at 10.20, 10.40, 11 o'clock, 11.20, 11.40, not 11.60, sorry, 12 o'clock and so on. For the number seven bus, first one goes at 10, next one 45 minutes later, which will be at 10.45. The next one, 11 minutes, sorry, 45 minutes later, so that's going to be at 11.30. The next one will be at 12.00. 15 and the next one will be at 1300 now I can see here that these are always arriving on the hour so if I continue that it will be 1220 1240 1300 so the first time uh, they're both leaving again at the same time is at 1 in the afternoon Question 8. Hamish is in London one Tuesday afternoon. He looks at the world clock shown below. So in London it's 13.38, New York it is earlier, it's in the morning, and Sydney it's later, it's um, in the evening. Hamish has a plane to catch in 6 hours and 34 minutes time. At what time does his plane leave in New York time? So first of all, we want to work out the time difference between London and New York. So in London, uh, in New York, it's going to be five hours earlier. Yeah, eight and five is 13. So he's catching the plane in 6 hours 34 minutes time. So I've got my 13.38 and I've got to jump by 6 hours and 34 minutes. So let's deal with the 6 hours first of all. 6 and 13 is 19. So his plane is taking off 19.38 but then I got another 34 minutes. Well, to take it up to 20 o'clock is another um, 22 minutes. And to go from
from 22 to 34 I've got another 12 minutes to go so that's going to take me to 2012 so 6 hours 34 minutes first of all jump the 6 hours then jump 22 minutes to get there and then there's another 12 minutes to make up the 34 so the plane takes off at 2012 in London time So at New York time that's going to happen five hours sooner so that's going to be at 15 12 because of that five hour shift Hamish decides to, to no, sorry Hamish decides to make a telephone call to Sydney before he leaves he makes the call at 1705 in London what time and day is this in Sydney? So now we need to work out what the time difference is between London and Sydney. So 13 uh, from 21 is eight hours ahead. So at 17.05 in London, um, seven hours will take me to midnight. And I got eight hours, so that's going to be one more hour, which will be at one in the morning. So what time of day? is it it's going to be one o'clock wednesday okay so these are quite tricky questions when it comes to um, time zones it's important you break them down into just timelines so the final question helen and james are traveling by plane from london to los angeles they see the following information when they arrive at the airport on tuesday so it's currently um, 15.40 on Tuesday in London and at that time in Los Angeles it's 7.40. Their flight leaves in two and a half hours time. The flight time between London and LA is 11 hours and 20 minutes. Give the time and the day in Los Angeles when they land. So first of all let's work out the time difference. So to go from 7 to 15 is 8 hours and LA is behind. It's earlier in the morning than it is in London. So LA is 8 hours behind. Their flight leaves in 2.5 hours time. So the flight is taking off at, so we've got 15.40 two and a half hours time so in two hours that will take us to 15 16 17 40 then it's 20 minutes to 18 o'clock and I've got two and a half hours so I've got another 10 minutes which takes me to 18 10 so takeoff is at 18.10 and that's London time. Uh, LA is eight hours behind, so minus eight hours for LA time. So 18 take away eight is 10. So they're going to land at 10 past 10 in the morning. Okay, so again, just to reiterate, when you're working with timetables, breaking it down into little chunks really, really helps. Okay, I hope you found those okay.